I live on the Isle of Wight, which is known as Dino Island, so what better place than to think about creating some really creative sounds from Jurassic Park. In this world, I recreate the epic Jurassic World style T-Rex sounds and using a video from Gary Ridestorm, which I'll link in the description, by the way, I need to gather together a bunch of sound effects like whales, uh, elephants, alligators, lions, trees falling and so on to really recreate this epic kind of T-Rex uh, or whatever dinosaur I can lay my hands on in the garden anyway, stomping around. So that's coming up. Uh, make sure you watch the end of the video to find out what happened and also to get the link to download the effects I create in today's video. Okay, here we are in Premiere Pro. This is something I recorded just outside in the garden. Wandering around and suddenly, oh, there we go. We're going to need some footsteps. There's the dinosaur. Pretty terrible roaring at the moment. And then our dead character. And a final big roar. Now, obviously, my roars are not going to cut it. So how can I, like, really make this sound epic? Well, first of all, I'm actually going to go to Edit here, and I'm actually going to look for Edit in Adobe Audition. That's where I can really have some fun with the sound design. Otherwise, it's not impossible, but it's harder to do in Premiere Pro. And we'll edit the whole sequence, which means it's going to render out this Jurassic World sequence that I'm working on in my garden and it's going to bring it straight into audition as a multi-track there we go now i can work with it i can even if i want bring in the video reference here and put it there so i can really watch what's going on in here so there's our character and here is the stomping dinosaur so i've got a few uh, little sound effects that i pulled in earlier like the tree falling Let's bring this on to uh, the uh, multi-track here. Let's get a few different timber sounds. That's one of them. Let's get this tree fall as well. And let's see what we can do to sync this up. So there is the first footstep about... It puts its foot down there, doesn't it? So we really need to make that area epic. So let's do that. Let's pull that together. Let's see what we've got. Okay, that's, that's interesting. So we've got... Okay, so he does a couple of steps there. One, and again there. So let's cut this here and take this, because this is this is actually going to be great so far for what I've got. And I'm going to duplicate that, and then I'm going to put a few effects on both of these tracks so we can really uh, get going with that. So again, I can see where in time this is going down. So again, he stomps here. And let's play that again. So it's... Okay, so I might need to pull that in earlier, actually, because the footstep actually occurs right about there, doesn't it? So, so that's perfect. And then let's make sure that's occurring in sync. So again, the foot goes down there. So just to synchronize that perfectly, we need to grab both sounds and just move that along a little bit. There we go. Let's play. Oh, and another footstep. So let's find out where that goes. Okay, perfect. So those trees falling sound really good uh, because essentially it gives the sound of something with real impact landing on the ground. So now we've got... So we've got this. Okay, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go ahead and grab both, all of those at the top, and I'm actually going to drag them onto their own new track here. And what I'll do here is I might add a little bit of a pitch shifter to really add some effect here. So we'll go for pitch shifter, and we'll pitch it down a little bit, and maybe even pan this over to the left a little bit, tiny bit. That's good. <sighs> Okay, now if I were to mute out my original audio, we've got... Okay, maybe I'm going to move this back in time a tiny bit just to make it sync up. Perfect. He actually does a couple of uh, footsteps there, so I wonder if I can actually duplicate just a tiny bit of that to... Um, Let's get that in where he does the secondary. So he does the first footstep and then a, a kind of second little jumpy footstep there, see? So I want to actually place something in there and also there. So we've got now 
Let's play that back from the start. There we go. Oh yes, and we'll let the decay on that go on a bit longer because that's going to help. And then he's roaring as well. So let's bring in some roars. Uh, oh, we've got a sonic boom as well. Let's see how that's going to work. Maybe we can mix this in uh, somewhere. Let's just see if that sounds good. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if we can use that maybe in a lighter form with a bit of reverb and quieter as well. Let's turn this track down a bit. That's interesting. Let's put a bit of reverb on that track. So we'll go to uh, reverb here and we'll go to studio reverb. I'm going to go for a large vocal reverb on that. Let's solo it. Maybe a little bit more of the track is needed. Okay, that's cool. And then again, we'll sync this with all of the footsteps. So we've got like a nice synchronization there. Let's try this. Okay, and then we need to get the roars. So let's bring in some roars. Uh, okay, we got a roar here. Let's see how this works. Let's try and sync it up with my roar there. My not very good roar. So you can probably hear that, so make it a bit louder. That's cool. And again, we'll put this here, a big roar there, because he's definitely a roar. And he's, he's shaking around there, so we need to... There we go. So now we've got this. Okay, and let's bring in maybe an angry elephant as well, because that could add to the mix. Could add. Let's try it. That's interesting. Let's try and shorten that a bit. I'm just going to move this a little bit out of the way and see if we can make that roar shorter. So it's short and angry. Hmm. That's uh, probably in need of a little... Let's make this... Let's make this... Let's actually put a bit of reverb on that track as well. Maybe a bit of smaller reverb. So we'll go for studio reverb. This time we'll go for vocal medium here. And uh, yeah, that's actually sounding pretty good. So now we're going from this where we'll probably keep this la, 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 a bit. Let's fade it in at the start. So we got this. La, 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 la. And actually, I might actually cut my roar and bring it down and pitch shift it a bit so we can actually see whether a human roar is going to work if it's pitched down. So pitch shifter, fade it right down. Let's go to solo there. That could work, couldn't it? So we'll make sure to cut out the roar here and the roar here because that's a human roar that we don't need. And without that roar, it's just... But with my human roar pitch, it really adds to it, doesn't it? And actually what we can do is we can space this out a little bit. So we would go ahead and double that track up, maybe send it off a little bit and pan it left and right. We can get that stereo effect. And actually I might do that just with this. So let's try this. As I wonder whether that actually needs to go on a little bit longer, that sort of elephant, angry elephant sound there. So we've got... Dun, 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 dun. Maybe not as long as that. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. And let's take my, uh, my, my little singing thing there. And see. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I wonder if I can maybe add some kind of uh, modulation to it, maybe a phaser. Let's try some... Dun, 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 dun. Actually, it's a bit loud. I can see that's distorting, so let's fade that down. Dun, 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 dun. Let's fade down the original and keep the phased up a bit. Dun, 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 dun. There we go, that's nice. And then for a final roar to the camera, I think, again, we're going to go for... Um, 
Let's see if I've got any anything else in my goodie bag of sound effects because I actually managed to get quite a few from free sound that would be quite good. So let's see if I've got anything. What about big lion roar? That could be interesting. Let's drag that in for the final roar here at the end. See how yeah, let's let's definitely mute my uh, mute my attempt at roaring out. Let's mute that clip and let's fade that at the end there and there and then we. It sounds like a big pussycat, doesn't it? It's probably not the sound I'm looking for. So let's go again for this, this, and this, and we'll drag that in. I'm trying to grab all of them if I can. So let's grab all three of them, bring it over, and then we've got right there. That's where the big final roar is coming in. <laughs> Oh, that's a long roar, isn't it? So I wonder if I can make that extend. I'm going to try time stretching. So that's to about there, isn't it? Let's see what happens if I time stretch these out. So let's time stretch that, time stretch that, and time stretch that. All time stretching them differently to see what we end up with. Um. Now there's a slight out of sync issue there. So I'm just going to bring that into sync. Playing it. And make it happen a little earlier. Seems like it needs to come in earlier. Nice. And I feel that's good. It needs a little fade out there so I don't hear the artifacts of the time stretching. And now uh, you've watched all the way this far in the video. You must be interested to see the final multi-track and how everything turns out. So let's go for a bird's eye view. Control command backslash to get the full multi-track. Let's just make this video uh, a little bit smaller so you can see it in context with everything that's going on. There will be a download link, by the way, mrc.fm forward slash T-Rex if you're interested in getting these sound effects on their own. So we've got this lovely scene that plays out. La, 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 la. La, la, la. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. If you'd like to download some of the sound effects I made in this particular video, just go to mrc.fm forward slash T-Rex. If you've not done so already, check out musicradiocreative.com. This is where my team of 200 plus audio professionals can help you with voiceovers, radio jingles, DJ drops, podcast intros, music, ads, and much, much more. Until the next time, keep calm and produce on my friends. Thumbs up. Subscribe for more.